I'm not really a doll, like I don't like playing with dolls or like doing all that, but uh, it's a very interesting process to see reborning. Now, if you guys want to, we can make a tutorial or an explanation on what reborning is, but it's basically revamping, it's like a V2, if you will. It makes the doll look better, and turns out my mom's really good at it, but we'll get into that later. So, what we have here is an Ashton Drake Galleries doll. Now, if you have no idea what these are, if you're new to this or you just don't care, <laughs> An Ashton Drake doll, they generally sell for around $250. Now, an Ashton Drake doll, they generally sell for around $250. Now, even though that's a steep price to look at it overall, reborning is one of those things that you need a template for. You can't just, I guess you could make it, but these, at least from what I've seen, are pretty good at making reborning with. And obviously I didn't order this, I'm, I'm broke, I have no money. So, good old mom who's recording this is in it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So, this box has like a, th a pull tab that you obviously need to be careful of not to rip if you were to gift this to someone or something like that. Or reborn them and sell them. So, I, you want to make sure to obviously, you know, undo these tabs. So, as you can see, when you open it, it's kind of like this really thin wrapping paper. I, it's not there's not really too much explanation, but Without further ado, let's um, let's actually go ahead and take a look at this doll so that We can actually see you know everything's going now if I remember correctly this doll was named Ava So without further ado, let's get into it. Wow. I keep saying that a lot so the first thing is obviously the Ashton Drake galleries certificate now what this is it basically tells you it's a, it's a certificate. There's not really too much to it. So it says, Ava is an original issue, true touch, silicone collector's edition doll designed by artist Linda Murray and an exclusive edition for the Ashton Drake Galleries. Now, this certificate, we're just going to leave it in its plastic. Anyways, without further ado, let's hop in. So what you're going to find is right here, minus the blanket thing here, but that's for suspense, if you will. Anyways, so what we have here is obviously the doll's body and then the head here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the legs because that's the easiest. And plus, you know, that's the bottom part. Let's just, uh, there's these ties here. They're like, I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but there's these ties here. They're, they're like kind of bow. Oh. Oh. They're kind of like bows. So what you do is you kind of just untie them. They're not that difficult to untie. So, you kind of, they're, they're like a shoelace, except a little more complicated. So, they come in this, like, foam type stuff to obviously protect the silicone from getting damaged and shipping. So, A plus on that. The silicone is sticky, so whenever, you know, whenever you do the reborning process, it is an option you have to choose where you can obviously give them a coating so that they're not as sticky. Which, and, and what my mom does, she does actually do that because obviously it's more convenient. And plus, I'm not sure how much money it costs, but I imagine putting an extra coating isn't that difficult. So, we're back. We got it off. I know it was a pain to do. So, as you can see, it's got these cute little socks. You can take these off. And as you can see, it, it kind of has... These socks are a little difficult to get off. Just be gentle with it because it's sticky and it might you might tear the silicone. So, be gentle. But as you can see, here's the sock. So, I'm just going to put that off to the side. And we have these toes here. Now, if you don't personally like the white tips, you can remove them. And it is something that you might want to do because I'm not a fan of it. And I'm not even into this stuff, so I can't imagine how you guys are about it. So, yeah, as you can see, it's got individual toes. Now, they are webbed together, so obviously you can space them apart. That's generally what the feet look like. And the rest of the leg, they're obviously it's silicone, so it's more soft to the touch. But... Oh. As you can see, it's silicone. As you can see, you squish it. More specifically, the feet are like really squishy. They're they kind of, they have like creases in them. So like you can obviously, if you've ever seen a, a doll before of this caliber, you can kind of see what I'm talking about with like you know the details. But at the same time, I will mention that since it is a little sticky, you can obviously coat them. But it is much easier to get them coated. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you have to get them reborn to do that. So just keep that in mind if you are going to buy these. They are sticky. Now, I'm not sure how well that goes with time as what well, if it stops sticking. But that is something you might want to know. So as you can see, these toes are different in the way that the right one obviously is a little more curved out. And I'm not really sure why that is. 
but I guess it kind of brings to realism. You know, Ashton Drake, at least from what I've heard, is a very reputable dog company. So obviously, you know, this is an unbiased opinion because I don't do this. So just keep that in mind. This no, there's no bias or anything. But yeah, as you can see, the feet, well, they're feet. I mean, they're feet on a doll. And if I'm being honest, you're generally going to be covering them up. But do know that if you like the feet to be, you know, without any socks or anything, I would recommend personally to move the white tips because those look weird to me. But it, it's a personal preference thing. So let's move on to the rest of the doll. It has the Ava type of, it, it's got the name there as well as True Touch Silicone kind of standard if you will if you've ever seen these dolls before and the back just has you know the ashton drake galleries and obviously made in china because you know why not so what the inside says is ava is an original issue two touch silicone collector's item doll designed by linda murray exclusively for the ashton drake galleries linda murray's signature is obviously here remember to be a little careful with it Those you can usually just pull off. Oh, oh that came off pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the first or the left arm, if you will, has all of its fingers curled up except for the thumb. And if you don't like the complexion and it looks too light or too dark for you, depending on how you want it, you can obviously try it yourself or get it reborn. But generally, I feel like if you're buying these dolls, unless you are a reborner, these are kind of coming how they are. So the left arm has creases, if you will, in the arm. Now, basically with these, the, I don't even have to explain what the creases are for. They're where the elbow is. And if you've ever seen the crease in your actual arm, they actually did a decent job, I'd say. But at the same time, if you like, you know, it's people who are professionally doing this might get triggered. So keep that in mind. So let's move on to the left arm. Alright, so, so far as you can see here, we have the doll's right arm, which obviously has all fingers cur- Fingles. Fingers curd it. So as you can see, we have the left hand- <laughs> Gotta shoot myself. <laughs> So obviously here we have the right hand and it has all of its fingers curled in because obviously this is the hand that generally keeps down. Look at the hair stuck to it. So obviously the tradition is webbed so it kind of has like, you know, they're not, you can't really see them. They're kind of pulled, they're, they're not pulled apart if you will. You, so you can't adjust each finger. But if you wanted to, you could obviously adjust that. Do note that that might be a difficult process, considering if you're a beginner or even advanced, I've heard, is actually really difficult to do. So it depends on where you are with that. But now that we have... Huh? Yeah. Now look at the elbow. You look at the whole thing. Yeah. She has blushing on her elbow. So as you can see, she has blushing on... Blushing. So as you can see, she has blushing on her elbow. Now, obviously, the elbow's... Since they have blushing, obviously you can change that. Like if you wanted to paint over with a little more blush, a little less, obviously personal preference. But it also has the same crease in its elbow, which in my opinion, I haven't really, I haven't really seen too many dolls that have, you know, sometimes they just have the plane and that's it. There's no creases, no nothing. So if you were reborning and you're into that, you could look into other dolls, but just keep that in mind. This is one of those babies that has the creases, so obviously they're selling these to consumers, so keep that in mind. Let's actually get into it. So we've obviously covered it, so let's go ahead and remove, and I actually have no idea what this doll looks like, so I'm, I have no idea. Wow, that actually looks surprisingly better than I thought it would. The hair is kind of eh, if I'm being honest. It doesn't... It, it's kind of... It's kind of coarse. I've, like, I've seen what my mom does with her dolls and they the hair feels a little more soft and has generally more of a natural feel to it also the hair kind of has like weird it has weird like so the hair is kind of a mess that's just how they come and obviously you know if your hair doesn't matter too much 
it, you kind of don't really have anything to say about that. If hair doesn't matter too much, it won't be that big of an issue. But what I will say is that the eyebrows do look pronounced, if you will. They look fake. Then they kind of have a little more bold of a color. And the eyelashes are a little long. They're long and fake, so just keep that in mind. Another thing I want to mention is, obviously, this is my opinion, but... The kid kind of looks like it has a fat face on camera, but trust me, it is more proportion, so keep that in mind. So, this is more what the baby looks like fully, obviously without this on. So, let's actually take her out and reveal her. Alright, so we have what looks like a neck brace, but it's actually just some foam that protects the neck from obviously getting damaged. And make sure that, you know, the baby doesn't get, the baby's neck or head doesn't get jostled around. Which, for actual parents out there, is a good thing. I should keep that in mind. So here's the baby in its full glory, or I guess small glory in this case. Um, one more thing I did want to note about the kid is that the lip color does fade very it easily. It comes off and... If that is something that you don't want to happen, you might want to take it off from the beginning and redo it. I'd recommend doing that, but it's not a terrible lip job, but just keep that in mind. That is something you might want to do. Now, the face is obviously a little squishy, but if you are into the whole having your mouth open to put a binky in there or something like that, keep in mind these don't open. There is a lot that can be said that can be improved about this baby but overall if you were just a consumer i wouldn't see too many problems these compared to something that's reborn that you've seen on those websites that is something you want to keep in mind is that the reborns are much better because the reborns have either a softer hair they have maybe fingers that actually move and they have, you know, mouths that are open. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get these dolls with the mouth open. So, you can get these open, but just keep in mind that the mouth open on the Ashton Drake, when they do it for you, only fits their accessories. All right, guys, we're going to take her out, and we will be back. And we are back. We have her laid on a kind of pillow to make sure that, you know, no damage is done. Because that goes for all kids, fake or not, lay them on pillows. I figured I should mention that just because... Some people aren't parents yet, so that if that's something, you know, you want to look into, pillows are really nice to have. So, with this doll, they have a kind of hairnet. If you've ever seen the lunch ladies with the hairnet, it kind of looks like that a little bit, but obviously ain't fit to work. So, what we're going to do is take this off. So, let's go ahead and actually take the hairband off. So, something I wanted to mention when I did say about the hair these have kind of ugly plugs. Now, what I mean by that is there's multiple hairs in one slot. Now, if you don't know what that means or don't know why that's an issue, it's because it can make the hair look very fake. And it doesn't help its case considering, like I said, it is coarse hair. And generally, baby hair isn't as coarse. It's more soft and I guess you could say lightweight. So that is something I wanted to mention. If you are looking for hair that is good, you might have to either A, do that yourself, or B, whenever you go to buy one, you can get one that is reborn. I know I keep mentioning the reborning, but you do, I feel like reborning is a really good thing to get into as far as buying dolls or selling them, doesn't matter. It just makes it look so much better. Now, if you're wondering why the hair is glistening, it, it's kind of like plastic. It is actually, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like Barbie hair or those crisp silver Christmas things you put on the tree. It kind of feels like that. On a serious note, though, I did want to mention, as far as coming around to the back, that the hair looks kind of... It looks a little better on the back, in my opinion, but still doesn't really look as good as a reborn. And if you guys are wondering what reborn is like, you can obviously... If you look up a reborn baby, you can find it really easy, surprisingly. So, like you can see in this close-up shot, you can kind of see the individual hair plugs and how there's multiple, like, four or five hairs in each plug. So, remember that whenever you are, do whenever you're buying these, they don't come in their each individual plug for each individual hair. So, let's actually undress it. So, what, what we have here is a jumper on the baby. So, as you can see, it has these cute kind of, like, curly things, which obviously mom... Ruffles. Huh? They're ruffles. So obviously it has these cute kind of like ruffles, if you will. So basically these look, in my opinion, they actually look pretty decent. I honestly, I mean, I'm a fan of the look, but 
if I were to dress my kid in something, I definitely wouldn't actually use these to dress your kid. They 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 look like they're very uncomfortable. <laughs> Regardless, with right. let's, let's just actually Pull that the way off. Let's actually undress the rest of the way for this bottom half, so let's get into it. Yeah, it just pulls down like pants. That's what she said. Oh my god, you're gonna have to like. <laughs> well, yeah, it's hard because of the elastic, so you have to like. Alright, I'm gonna have to flip it over. Yep. And then grab this side. Alright, so we have a. Kind of cheap diaper, obviously, if you want to put one on, I would put one on that's a little better looking. Because this, in my opinion, it looks like a band-aid, so take it as you will. But it is nice that they at least included a diaper there. And if there is any poop in that diaper, either A, that's the company's fault, or B, you need to throw the baby out now because it's possessed. Regardless, let's go ahead and take the diaper off and... As you can see, the body is obviously it's not a full silicone body because cloth. yeah, it's not like a silicone body or anything. I'm not sure if you can get those, but it's also kind of more of a cheap cloth. Now, these do come quote-unquote weighted, but I've seen those trivially bags of sadness. Those are not weights. So if you did want a weighted doll, keep in mind, this does have some weight to it, but you might have to add your own because the shriveled up weights aren't doing it. And I've actually seen them because I saw my mom yeah. take one apart. Yeah, so You can feel it in there. It's right there. Here. As you can see, there's just literally, this is the only part with weight. There's no big bag in it. It's just one tiny bag. As a matter of fact, I can isolate it here. It's basically this, this right there. That's all there is. And the bag is, it looks when you pull it out really big, like it could hold more, but they don't. I don't know why. I'll show it in the video of tearing her apart. Oh. So as far as actually seeing it, if you guys want to see it, we'll be doing a video on how it actually looks like when we tear apart the doll. We'll obviously show you like what the weight is and obviously how to actually weight them if that's something you want to do. So considering I've said a lot about stickiness, Basically, it's it's not any analogy. It's actually sticky like the hair if you can see here It's sticky and it's sticking on there So make sure just to be cautious to never get this thing dirty because if you do that is going to be a really difficult time to clean So make sure that you keep it in a clean space and do not drop them That will be mayhem if you have a dirty floor. That's obviously since it's sticky That's one of the processes That's one of the main reasons that someone might get a reborn is actually the coating because the coating that at least my mom uses, from what I know, does not fade at all. Now, what I mean by fade is you don't have to redo it at all. It's not like a monthly or yearly thing. Once it's on there, it's on there, and you don't have to do anything for it. So, remember that, and remember that this doll has a little bit more sticky silicone. So, I know I keep saying it, but it really can be a little bit of a drag to, especially when you even just I, even just pulling this out of the box, there was already hair and stuff on it. So keep that in mind. You need to you de you're gonna need to do a little cleaning as well when you get this doll first, unless you don't care about dirt. But teach their own. There you go. It's like that initial part that's so difficult. Got that on. So as you can see, there actually is potential for a lot of detail. They obviously haven't painted it in. It's no easy task. So if you want to do it yourself, be cautious and also go slow. If you go too fast, you might make it worse. With all of the clothing off, as you can see, the body obviously isn't that high quality of material, but obviously it won't matter too much if you, you have can, clothes on it. You can see almost see the polyfill through it. As, if you can see it on camera, you might not be able to, but you can see, almost see the polyfill through it, if you will, and it kind of, it's its because it's a thin type of cloth, it's kind of, it's kind of just there to be a body because they're expecting you to put clothes on it and have your own design, which obviously I can understand, but just keep in mind the body isn't as high quality, so if you wanted to change so that out, it. you you would, I would at least recommend replacing it for longevity purposes and also just for, you know, use purposes. Anyways, guys, so that is basically it. That was the full baby, and if I'm being 100% honest, I honestly wouldn't mind, like, if I was into the doll thing, I wouldn't mind owning one of these. They're, they're decent for what they're worth, but keep in mind, since they're only $250, there's compromises, and you might not think it would cost too much, but... 
believe it or not, even reborning these things can cost a lot of money to actually like get the materials and reborn it. I've seen it because my mom's ordered the stuff and I honestly, I feel bad for her wallet. So trust me, these things for $250, this is a good value. At the very least, try replacing the hair. The hair is like the most important part that at least in my opinion, I would replace. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it, or at least my mom would, of subscribing and obviously like, turn the notification bell on for when obviously the reborning happens. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, peace, fellas.